Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I am CJ. Apologies if it looks like I'm wet and sweaty. Torrential downpour outside right now. I just got back from the store to pick up the last of these parts, which I'll show you in a minute. This is a very important day for the boosted board because we're doing an assortment of mods, which I will list in the video description below. All-terrain wheels, headlights, rear lights. Did get a new standard size battery, which is allowed to be taken on airplanes. Now today's mods really are important because now that I'm in Malaysia, the roads and the environment is super rugged. So these stock wheels that come with the boosted board, they're flat, they're basically slicks, and it's very easy to slide. Not a whole lot of grip when there's dirt and sand on the roads out here. So we're gonna swap them. These all-terrain wheels are actually much larger in size. We need to get this done as fast as we can because season four of CJ Ride, the Twitch live streams here in Malaysia begin very, very soon. And we're gonna need this ready. Okay, so I picked up a couple cans of stuff at the store. I found this, it says it dissolves grease, oil, and dirt. It's not a lubricant, it's just for cleaning. Just for fun, we will start with the bearings and their ceramics. These are special because they won't rust. So I'm gonna put this grease on them. Normally you wanna lubricate whatever bearings you have. All right, first we're gonna work on the back because it's the hardest 3D printed gear. I, I didn't understand why the guide I was following originally had me purchase these huge bearings, right? Because they don't they don't fit in this wheel. And I just learned that this isn't to go in the wheel, it's to go inside the 3D printed part. I don't have any directions, I'm making this up as I go. Oh yeah, I'm wearing new clothes. I got locked out of my apartment last night and had to call locksmith, so this is part two, day two of the video now. Can't slide it. Not gonna lie, this is kind of a disaster. I'll show you why. Now, the first time we tried these slightly angled ones, they go like this. Uh, I couldn't actually make them fit on the way they're supposed to because they extended beyond the bumper. Bumper extends beyond the lights. These are a little bit different in shape and instead of mounting them as the last piece, I'm gonna put them on first uh, because otherwise the cable management was blocking where the lights attached. So I'm gonna wire this up and then let's take another look. Okay, we now have everything wired up. I'm just going to review the process for the rear because it's kind of difficult. I have this whole thing lubed up all the way to this point right here. There are three bearings. One on the outside, a small one. One on the middle, those are both these ceramic reds. And then the one large one that fits inside the gear. It was quite difficult actually to get it in there. I had to pound it, but be very careful. You don't want to break anything. So now when I slide it on, it should line up with the other front gear. And it does. The rear assembly is now complete. Look at that. It looks so good, right? Now we just got to redo the front. So the order will be the flat light brackets like that. Then it'll be the cable management spacer. On top of that is the bumper and then last the trucks. Front assembly complete, looking great. Remember for the front wheels, you have one washer, bearing, bearing, another washer, and then the nuts. Because of the placement order of the light brackets on the rear and the obstacle where I had to actually mount it closest to the deck because of the other pieces. Uh, definitely not how it was intended. It looks like the lights were probably supposed to mount this way into the brackets because of the lip. It doesn't actually matter though. They'll still fit on. So I'm just gonna slide this one on here. It snaps in. Trying to keep symmetry across the board. Lights are on, looks great. Last but not least, we're going to attach the new battery and throw on some stickers. 
You gotta be kidding me. I'm still missing screws. I can't mount the battery. And it's so close to being done. I can't tell you how many times I've been to the hardware stores and skateboard shops. Just moved to Malaysia and not all my stuff has arrived. It's been two weeks since I moved here and uh, customs still has one more of my boxes. So it's it's gotta have the missing parts, but there's no time because the live streams on Twitch begin tomorrow. Hey, we're outside momentarily. Trying to get the missing screws to mount the battery on the booster board. They don't have the same size. This one's a little bit longer. And if it's too long, it's gonna screw all the way through to the top side of the board. All right, the screws were a match. Got lucky. That was a lot of work. I can't say it was more work than I expected, but uh, for a first timer not really knowing what I'm doing, I feel kind of proud. Definitely learned a lot. And yo, these mods are awesome. I recommend you guys try them out if you need help. You can always jump on my Discord, discord.gg slash cjride and ask questions there. If you want to see how it rides, tune into the live channel, twitch.tv slash cjride. Thanks for watching the video. See you guys on the next one. I got to run outside. Try this thing out. Later. Oh. The wheel is spinning while the gear is not moving that it's attached to. I don't know how I didn't notice or when it happened because I feel like we would have heard plastic hitting the ground. So here's the damage. We took the wheels off the board and there are six holes where the 3D printed gears will fit into, they slide into. And some of the tabs broke off. Actually on one of the gears, all of the tabs broke off and that was the one that uh, wouldn't spin with the gear. So I bought some epoxy and I'm gonna try to glue them in place kind of as a temporary fix. I also noticed on one gear, part of the teeth were starting to break or bend in uh, one of the hollow areas. Bit of a defect. Uh, I think if you were going to make this again using 3D printed wheels, you would want this completely solid. Or, in my case, as a replacement and improvement, we're going to create some new aluminum based gears. They will be brushed orange, just like these parts, uh, but they'll look exactly like the previous 3D printed gear and made out of aluminum, so not cheap. This stuff is machined, so what that means, instead of additive, like a 3D printing is adding material, uh, machine parts are subtractive, so it's cutting away from a piece of aluminum. It's gonna be indestructible. An alternative would be carbon fiber. At the moment, I'm just lucky to have the right connections to uh, get this done. Have a good night, everyone.